What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a pre-recorded video because I had an appointment this morning, but I hope you're doing good. I'm very happy to see you here. I wanted to give you content. I wanted to come and bring the setups and bring the daily offer that we're talking about every single day. So thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. We're gonna talk about the crypto market. We're gonna talk about the Forex calendar, what we can look for, what trades we can look for. I have some follow-up trades that we took yesterday and the, uh, and the previous days. And I wanna follow up on that and I'm gonna give you an altcoin short as well, possibly. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I wanted to say that uh, if you're new to the channel, we do this every single morning. We do this every single morning live. This is a special occasion that we don't do it live. Uh, but I'm coming to you every single day, looking at the markets, looking at what can happen, bringing real trades, look back on, on the previous videos that I made. Um, I actually can start off with this before I deep dive into it. I, I, I did this, I made this video yesterday. Let me know in the comment what you think, okay? Because uh, I wanna do more of these. Let me just take the music down. And this is like a recap of yesterday's live. No, why did my alert not go off? We missed this. No. This would have been our trade, guys. No problem. It is what it is. You get some, you lose some. You see, you see what I'm doing? I'm missing trades to do lives with you guys. You see, you see the sacrifice that I'm doing. Oh, damn. Anyway, send me some hearts in the comments. This must be an interesting day. Oh, I got an ice cream and a heart. And I got an ice cream. Yum, yum. Thanks for the ice cream. Okay. <laughs> I love having some time with you guys. Oh, God, it's coming back. Yeah, let's get in. Let's get in here. I'm going to get in here. It is coming here. I'm going to get in here. Oh. I'm gonna get an entry here and a stop loss here. So actually my target would be this. And that's a one to 13. You know, we had one, two, now I would like to see three, four, and then potentially taking the high and that would be just, just so good. A few moments later. <laughs> Send me some hearts in the comments. <laughs> so this is the kind of content that uh, that I want to start producing. Um, you know, we followed up on the the gold trade that we got into together uh, yesterday, which was pretty, which worked out pretty great. Uh, these are the calls that we're doing here. So so if you're new, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, follow me on Twitter, uh, and let's get right into the content. So today, as I said, this week was pretty interesting because we had a lot of inf you know a lot of stuff coming out, job openings and uh, PMI and all that. Didn't steer the pot that much but it was still relevant, especially the job openings came in much, much higher, which is pretty good for the currency, uh, for the dollar. So we saw that reflecting and also the PMI is coming in uh, above 50 would be expansion. So uh, so this calls for potential uh, tightening and, and, and stricter monetary policy. And that means that, that they might... Uh, we might see an interest rate hike. So um, so that is good for currency. This is why the dollar has been pushing uh, even more. We're gonna look at it, uh, we're gonna look at the dollar. But before we do that, today we have unemployment claims. Important how they come in, you know, they came in higher. So that means that the, that the Fed's, you know, attempt to slow inflation and slow the economy has been working. Uh, so if it, if, it is comes in, if it comes in higher, that will be a big, big, big uh, hit for the dollar. And that could help Bitcoin push as well. Um, if it comes comes in lower, that means that that basically would confirm these two numbers. So I would expect it to come in lower and that would push the Dixie more. Um, because because um, I don't know what was the Oh no, so the forecast, the forecast is 211. Okay, so it actually, it actually is aiming to come in higher. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's see what it does. Um, if you look at this Joe openings, uh, you know, more than what is it 800,000 more than than forecasted and PMI also coming in higher than forecasted, much higher than forecasted. I would assume that the unemployment claims drop. Um, we have to see what's gonna happen there. Just watch out, it's uh, 2.30 Central European time. 
Um, let's look at Benta Bubbles, what's happening here. In the description, there is a link to Benta Bubbles. You can download that uh, Benta Bubbles on that link. We have a newsroom every single day at Benta. Uh, first of all, you have all the news here. So this is pretty cool because you don't have to go anywhere else. You can just come in here and there are actual researchers doing research um, and they, they uh, you know, we post stuff in here and if anything happens in the market you just got to come here and then just look at it and there is a research call every single morning and that means that you can come in here chat with us as well but also the whole Benta team is on here sharing alpha discussing what should be in the shows so this is something pretty cool and then we have the playlist for the recordings um that we had previously uh and then obviously here is bubbles right so Pretty pretty green. Avex. I want to look at Avex uh, a little bit later because I had a call on Avex and I hope you 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 took the trade. I could not take the trade because I wasn't available, but uh, but that was pretty good. Let's look at what's happening here. Pretty green, pretty green. But as you see, it's like not that like not overall big bubbles. That means that we didn't have a lot of push, and that means that there might not be enough strength in the market to push higher. Let's look at what the Dix is doing. So I've been calling for the Dix to fucking reverse, guys. I can say this. I even had a I even had a video put out with with the Dixie. You know, like Dixie will melt faces. Like I really think that this is gonna drop. Now now the macro doesn't look like that, especially if the if the unemployment claims uh come in really as uh, you know higher. But um but this should drop. Now, the point of interest on the one hour would be this. So I would I would definitely look at this level now. Uh, now we, we broke the internal structure. So that's good. That's good because we are coming down. So we broke the structure here. We took liquidity. We are coming down. Um, so I see I see potential to come down to this. I mean, 99% we're going to come down to this region. This 106.3 then 106. Um, and if we break this level, then the only, the only demand zone, the only support that we have is down here. So this would be the four hour point of interest and if we break this guys we are on like we are on big time because we already had a break of the four hour here uh which was a weak one so you can consider this as the strong old demand zone but this was still a valid level so the fact that we broke below here and then pushed higher because of the news shows me that this is not healthy so so we gotta watch out again as i explained a lot of times uh, we could not close above we could not close above the previous high here. As you see, this was a very important level. I talked about this as well in my previous videos. Uh, by the way, there are in the video description, there are these little timestamps. So you can go back on any of the lives and just scroll back to what I said on different topics or different coins and then just backtrack for yourself um, um, or just see how it worked out. So. I was calling for this level not to be broken. And if it gets broken, then we are going to the next level. Now, we wick through. This is just liquidity sweeps. So, uh, again, like looking at the macro, I, I could imagine big, uh, Bitcoin Dixie pushing to 109.4 and 1010. Uh, other than that, I think we have to reverse and then we're coming sub 100. That's my prediction for the Dixie. Okay, let's look at Bitcoin. So we were in a bit, or we are in a Bitcoin long here. Uh, I took this long. Um, you could have taken profit and should have taken profit. Uh, I didn't, and I will talk about this in a second. Um, but but um, it was one to three up here. You know, perfect trade. I uh, didn't take profit. What I did was I moved my entry up to this twenty three thousand twenty seven thousand three ten. Um, I moved my stop. This is the main structural point. Um, so, so I wanted to, I wanted to move my stop up, uh, and, uh, and just ride this. Honestly, this should hold as well, but there's liquidity. If this doesn't hold, I see us coming back down here. You know, it is building up liquidity. So I see us coming down here and then pushing higher. I would be interesting, uh, interested to add to my position, uh, here, uh, when it comes to that level around the 27, 420 ish region. Um, so let's see that I am still targeting 28,300 ish at least, at least, but I'm rather, I'm rather targeting 31,000. Um, 20, I don't think this level is going to be interesting. I don't think this is going to be something that we're going to look for. We'll see, but I think we're going to melt, like cut through this. If we get to this level, I think we're going to cut through. Uh, other than that, like guys, if, if we reject here, I mean, if, if this stop loss gets hit, that's a problem because we've got massive liquidity down here. Um, um, so, so the potential of us coming down to 26 or then potentially taking all this liquidity and then going pushing lower 25 and even 22, 23 is, you know, is still there. So we've got to take it as we go. And this is what I wanted to talk about. And I will talk about in the soul trade. Now on the total, it's very interesting. We broke the decision point as well in the total market up which is pretty cool so that means that we didn't take the liquidity that i thought we are going to take we had a little wick here oh we kind of did take the liquidity 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did take the liquidity here. Look at this. Not all of it, but we took most of the liquidity here. It started from here. Yeah, we took most of the liquidity. So that's gone. So that's pretty cool. This was the rate then. Okay, that's very good. That's very good because that means that we are making, you know, we are establishing a new structure. We have a break here. I'll take the decision point off. We have a break here. We have an MSS here. And then we have an MSB here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This looks very good. So we go one, two, three, four. So we have confirmed the reversal happening. So that means that we are potentially going to come back down to this region somewhere around here. Let me see the 15 minute structure. Yeah, liquidity built up. So probably going to come back down to here and then reverse from here and continue. That would be so cool. That would be very good. Okay, dominance so close, so close, um, and we broke on the on the, the like this is the actual four hour decision point. So 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 the dominance is breaking out, definitely breaking out. I mean, I want to see a daily broke, I mean daily break uh, and a hold above. Um, if that happens, Bitcoin is gonna skyrocket. I mean, compared to the odds. Um, so now this is something interesting. I talked about this is the trade that we took. So this is my long. This is yesterday's live targeting higher up here potentially 20 guys we have 105 views on this what three or all the way up here to this 24 region uh let's see what it does i'm gonna put an alert here so we know now this is the problem so i say that i'm targeting up 24 24.5 ish whatever region now here's something that i'm also struggling with I'm struggling with my mental game sometimes, right? And it's just so cool to like, you know, oh yeah, to the moon and whatnot. And you want to get these big gains. And I'm working on, actively working on letting that go. Why? Because if you do one to three risk rewards and you take one trade a, a week, what is it? Well, two, three trades a week and two of them are successful, you're making 20% a month, you know, or more. So like, so the thing, if you're risking like 1% of your portfolio. So I think it's just very important to let go of these, you know, let's moon boy and, and whatnot, fuck that. Let's stick to one, two, three. And if I would have stuck to one, two, three, so I'm rewriting my whole whole trading plan. Uh, because if I would have just stick with one, two, three, this trade would have been good. So se several things. Number one, I saw I saw that the reversal is happening. Then we created a relative equal lows here, which means what? Liquidity. So the problem was that I ignored this liquidity here, right? Not even this liquidity. Yeah, it's rather just these two actually. So these relative equal lows are our liquidity. And and this is a problem because I would have been able to predict that, okay, this is going to happen. So what do I see? I see that there is liquidity up here. This is potentially going to be taken. We're going to come up, touch onto some kind of demand and, and reverse. Like this makes complete sense. But the problem is that, that, that I target all the highs and then I wasn't even at my computer at this time and, um, and I don't sell. So what I really got to do is that I, I always say sell 80% at one to three and do that. Like fucking do that. Don't, don't try to change the world. Well, don't try to you know figure something out that's not there no sell at one to three that's the job and that's it so yeah this was a good trade you know we had we would have made three and a half percent um i haven't sold i got stopped end of story um massive liquidity built up yeah uh, so it's important for you to to sell this is the lesson here Okay, AVAX, pretty cool stuff. This is what I said in last yesterday's live. So AVAX was at uh, 9.74 at a time. So 9.74 up here, up here. This was, the, yeah, exactly. So this was, this was the point where, where, uh, we're, so this was, this was, this was when we were talking about it on the live. This is kind of where we are when we talk about the live. Let's see what I say. Breaker. This is what we call the breaker block. If we shoot through, it's potentially going to come back down. Uh, let's see where what it does. Again, liquidity, so potentially it will take higher and then come back either here or liquidity sweep, potentially sweep higher and then come back. Comes back to this breaker. Actually, this is more likely as well, depending on how much it's gonna push. We gotta look for reversals at these areas. So a push down here would be good. I'm gonna set an alert and then we... So what I said is that we're gonna push a little bit higher. We were here because of this liquidity. I don't think that we did push higher. Yeah, so we didn't push higher. We didn't take the liquidity up here, which is a good sign because that means that the, the liquidity has been 
has stayed and that means that there is reason for it to push higher even from this breaker we don't have to come down to to this breaker and what happens is i mark the five minute poi as well like this is the point of interest and we see a pretty decent re reversal and then avax is just taking off from here so this would have been a great trade. This, this would have been a trade that you could have taken. Either either enter when you see the reversal here, either enter like this, you know? This could have been a great, great uh, trade. Or you could have waited for, uh, if it came back, I don't know if it came back, but or you could, could have waited for a confirmation and then this would have been the entry. Oh, it did come back. Oh. Yeah, this could have been the entry. Um, yes. So anyway, it was just great. This is also one of the reasons why it's worth watching the show every morning. Okay, let's see LPT. Yeah, so LPT, this is a trade for today. Uh, this is a trade for today. Let's see what I said yesterday. Someone, some of you asked it in the comments. So that's why I looked at it. A close below, above. If you see a close above this uh, 596 region, you can try to enter on this uh, on this 15 minute. Oh, it's a three minute. Okay. And anyway, I'll put it five minute. You can try to enter here, so I would look for something like this. A little bit of push and then a comeback. Good. Yeah, so I was expecting a little bit push, break above the... Break above this. Break above the decision point here. This is five, nine, eight, six, as I say. And then a comeback to the five minute point of interest. And now we do see both of them. So we did have the push, as I said here. So we did have the push uh, we closed above, and that's a great indication that we are going to reverse. We left a lot of liquidity here. So that was a great indication that we are going to come back down. We did come back down, but this was not enough for it to be able. So we, we induced this OB, basically we didn't, didn't touch it. And um, yeah, so we are coming back down, we touched on, we had our first reversal here, actually. Uh, so this would have been a stop for me, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't at my computer. So th this would have here, this would have been a stop for me right here. Um, but this here, we have another market structure shift. And uh, that means that this is great. We're, we're leaving liquidity behind. So I have two entries for you on this LPT. If it comes back, number one is going to be here at 5857. Or the other one is going to be at, if we come back down to 5848, eight. you have to decide whether you keep your stop loss. I would recommend you keep at both instances your stop loss down here. This could be aggressive entries, by the way. So I'll put a limit order here um, and and we'll see how it goes. A small order because this is an, uh, not not a high liquidity token. So I don't want to risk a lot of, you know, I don't want to take a lot of risk. Uh, but, but these are the two. Area. So one area is 5.848 and then 5.857 and stop loss goes to 5.830 or it might not come back at all and just rock it. So that also something that you have to take under consideration. And then we have an age bar short. We want to see age bar pushing up to, we want to see age bar pushing up to at least, it's not in the point of interest, but this is a great level. Um, so around, around, let me put it, why is there no price label on this? Price label, so around 4887, that's the region where I would like to see a reversal and then uh, 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 you just take a lower time from confirmation and then you can get in on a short and, and target potentially, you know, target. The reason why I'm actually shorting this is because we saw a decent push here. We saw this and push here, and then we are coming back. We built liquidity, we are coming back down, we are touching on, but we induced this OB, the beginning of the inefficiency. So we induced that, and that's a problem for me, especially because we have liquidity here. So I'm overall, I'm gonna be longing down here, but not just now, this could be a great day trade. Something like this, depending if we come up, you know, something like this very tight stop loss, and then one to seven, again, sell at one to three, uh, but this liquidity will be hunted. So if we come up here, and we already had the shift, so this will be hunted. This would be my trade around this region. This would be my trade. Uh, you can also do limit here. So my limit would be my limit would be a uh, 0 0.04887 and then uh, target lower. That's what I did, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm sorry that this show is not live and I'm sorry that it's a little bit shorter, but I had an appointment that I couldn't cancel. 
And um, yeah, let me know what you think. I really, I, I interact in the comment section. So I see you, I reply to you. And also you can just come and tag me. There was someone yesterday tagging me on Twitter. I replied to them as well. Come share your chart. Let's let's chat, let's discuss. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you. So, and we didn't have music the entire time. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Take care, have fun, see you tomorrow.